Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmouse key skill video on continuing a sequence. Now a sequence is just a list of numbers in some particular order and usually the numbers in your sequence have some kind of pattern. Now can you see for this first sequence as we go from left to right the numbers seem to be getting bigger by three each time. So to get from two to five that seems to be getting three bigger that seems to be getting three bigger to get from five to eight, then to get from eight to 11, that seems to be getting three bigger. So we're just gonna assume that this sequence continues in this particular pattern, and using that particular pattern, we can work out what the next few terms of the sequence would be. And by the way, when I say the word term, I just mean a particular number within the sequence. So if we continue this pattern, if we add three again, 11 plus 3 is 14, so that would be the fifth term of the sequence. And then if I add 3 again to get the sixth term, 14 plus 3 is 17. So the sixth term of the sequence is 17. Now, for all the questions in this particular key skill, we're only going to be using adding, subtracting, timesing, or dividing. So it might be that we add a number each time, or subtract a number each time, or times by a number each time, or divide by a number each time. Let's look at this next sequence. What seems to be happening to the numbers? Are we adding something each time? Well, no, because the numbers are not getting bigger. Could we be subtracting something each time? Oh, well, that's going down by two, and then that's going down by two, that's going down by two. They seem to be going down by two each time. So we continue in that same pattern. If we have two and we subtract two, two minus two is zero. And then if we subtract two again, zero minus two, we're getting into the negative numbers now and we would have minus two. If we want to continue that further, then if we subtract two again, we get to minus four, etc. And this sequence goes on forever. What about the next one? 2, 6, 18, 54. Well, the numbers are getting bigger, so it could be that we're adding the same number each time. But let's look. Can you see 2 to 6, we're adding 4, but 6 to 18, we're adding 12. So we didn't add the same number. We added 4 first, but then 12. That's not the same. So it's not going to be that. Well, the only other thing it could be uh, is multiplying. Could it be that we're multiplying by the same number each time? Well, 2 to 6, we're multiplying by 3. And 6 to 18, we're multiplying by 3. Oh, that's good. It seems to be the same thing. 18 to 54, we're multiplying by 3. So that seems to be the pattern, that we're multiplying by 3 each time to get the next term in the sequence. So we multiply by 3 again. You could either do this on a calculator or you could do long multiplication. But that's going to give you 162. And then if we multiply by 3 again, you can either, again, use your calculator or do long multiplication. That's going to give you 486. Right, what about the last sequence? Well, the numbers seem to be getting small each time, so it's either going to be subtracting or dividing to make them smaller. Now, is it subtracting? Well, no, because, for example, to get from 81 to 27, we're subtracting 54, and then we're subtracting 16 and then subtracting 6. So we're not subtracting the same number each time. So it could be dividing. Well, can you see, to get from 81 to 27, that's getting three times smaller. If that's hard to see, just use your calculator. And then going from 27 to 9, that again is getting three times smaller. Then 9 to 3, we're getting three times smaller. So we continue that pattern, divide by 3 again. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then when we divide 1 by 3, well, we're getting into fractions now, so that's going to be a third. Because if you split a whole into three parts, then you would have a third of a whole.